Hello, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Corey. I'm a bone cancer survivor and I live with chronic illness and disability after cancer. And today I'm gonna go get a CT enterography done. Woo! Now, if you wanna kind of know more a little bit about my flare up that had the, the first real quote flare up for what they think is Crohn's, go ahead. There's a video up in the iCard above where I explain a little bit of what's going on. I thought I'd take you along. I've had a number of CTs done. I get them done very frequently to make sure the cancer I had did not spread to my lungs. It sounds like this one's slightly different. So I have to be at the hospital an hour before my actual scan is supposed to take place. I know I'm going to be given some kind of solution to drink and I will be getting an IV because there is contrast involved. I'm not allowed to eat anything at least six hours before the scan is done and I'm only allowed to have clear liquids meaning like tea, coffee, water, no milk, no cream, no sugar, no nothing like that. I'm very hungry. I will try to film what I can in the hospital. A lot of clinics don't like recording um, so I have to respect whatever the hospital system's wishes but I'll record little bits and pieces and I'll share my experience with you. Well, that was an experience. Apparently I have tiny veins because every single time I come and get a CT done, they have to stick me more than once to get the, the IV in. They stuck me in both of my arms and then they had to call an anesthesiologist from somewhere else in the hospital because neither tech, two techs tried, couldn't get it. So an anesthesiologist came in and stuck it in my hand and now my vein I don't know if you can see it. It's super dilated. That thing running down the middle of my hand that's popping out of my skin is the dilated vein they had to use. Bah! I don't know what it is. I've done colonoscopy prep and that stuff just like instantly makes you everything in your bowels go. I don't I don't know what the stuff they gave me is. I know it was barium, like a barium drink and a lot of it, but like it's like instant like instantly. That's weird. That's really weird. I was shaking and shivering and cold the whole time. As soon as I started drinking the drink and they said for some people, for some reason, it can cause you to have the shivers. So I had the shivers with it as well. The dye they give you, the contrast that they put in, it like makes you feel like you're peeing yourself. I'm used to it because I've done the scan so many times, but it makes you feel like you're peeing yourself. So, which was which is weird, but it is what it is. I am, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. They were really nice. And I think the text felt really bad that they had to keep stabbing me. But, uh, I was just nervous. I was going to like have like a nervous, sh like I was going to my pants on the table. Cause, um, yeah, that stuff is like running through me like water out the hole. It shouldn't be. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, I'm going to go eat some food now because I am freaking starving. Okay, I'm panicking a little bit. It's like 6.30 in the morning. It's been less than two days I, that I had my scans done. And the only other times I've ever had callbacks or my results released this quickly for different things, I've been diagnosed with large things like autoimmune diseases or um, my cancer scan. So I'm, I wanna try to be optimistic and say, maybe someone just got through my scans really fast and it's gonna show nothing but a little flashbacky, a little stressed out. I'm gonna check the, the results. I'm stressing out. I'm sure it's fine, I'm just stressing out. It came back with absolutely nothing. Everything came back as unremarkable. I've had some time to cool off after getting my results this morning and I want to first say I'm happy that the scans don't show anything seriously wrong. That's always good news. Now that's not to say that I'm not disappointed in some fashion that I don't get any more answers. There are no answers from this, uh, this scan. So just because the scan came back normal doesn't mean that there's not stuff wrong. It just means that the scan didn't pick anything up. I still do have the diagnosis of irritable bowel syndrome, so they have acknowledged that there is something wrong with my GI tract, but they're not really sure what what it really is. If you want to stick around and 
and make dinner with me. Let's make some dinner. My plan for dinner is super simple tonight. It's gonna be throwing both of these things into the oven with stuff on it and calling it good. Now, this is a butternut squash. I'm going to just roast it. And then this is pork top loin chop thick cut boneless. I don't know a lot about meat. I just know this was like super cheap compared to some of the other stuff in the store. So I was like, okay, well, we're just gonna have some pork. I don't really do recipes. I kind of look up stuff to see like cooking times and just throw stuff together and throw it in the oven. So let's get started on peeling this, this thing. I think I'm gonna wash it because it looks pretty dirty on the outside. So I think I'm gonna wash it before I peel it a little bit. Well, that did absolutely nothing. Um, okay, okay, yep. I don't know about y'all, but I accidentally tend to drop food into the garbage when I am peeling a lot. So I get a garbage bowl, thanks Rachel Ray from the early 2000s. I use a garbage bowl to peel, word, peel, my anything that I peel on countertop because I end up inevitably dropping it in the trash on the guys. Now, this is probably the ugliest peeler you have ever seen in your life. And let me tell you, this thing works better than any modern peeler I've ever had. It is obviously well loved and I'm not getting rid of it. I don't even know like what I wanna, how I wanna do this. I'm always scared I'm going to slice my own fingers off. Oh, Cause this is not simple to peel. And then it starts to get slippery. Like, how do you do this? Okay, I need to dry it off because it's becoming too difficult for me to... Oh. oh, that was close to my thumb. Probably gonna be eating a little bit of paper towel. That's okay. I think it's heavy too, like it's making my hand hurt, my wrist. Okay, for my own safety, I'm not going to do the bottom or the top. recording. Oh, I chopped up all of these with you guys and it was a disaster. I almost cut myself I don't know how many times. Mm. I'm so sorry. Are they uniform in size? No. Will they cook evenly because of that? Probably not. I'm going to season it with honey, cinnamon, rosemary, and some oil. Oil is not for seasoning, it's just to help them cook. I gotta do the pork chops. It's stuck. I'm gonna stick it in the microwave just to try to get this off. Making disasters in the kitchen, forgetting to record them. Let's just keep it simple. Let's do like salt, pepper, and some thyme. Uh -huh. Probably way too many breadcrumbs. Oh well. I feel like that's my motto. Oh well. Okay, does this come off? Yeah. There is a lot of fat on these, so I think I'm gonna trim them. I should have thought this through more. I need to get a sheet tray out, put these on. I'm gonna sprinkle some mustard on it and then dip it in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plante, plante. Uh, I'm just gonna coat it. I am not being the smartest 
mixed right now. This is probably too much for one sheet tray, but you know what? This is how we're gonna cook it. I still need to wash my hands, but I think I'm gonna start, I guess I can stick them in the oven at the same time. I think the pork chops are gonna take a lot longer because they're still partially frozen than these butternut squash, but I'm just gonna set a timer and come look at it later. We'll see. That was so good. That was surprisingly really delicious. So I strongly suggest you try it at some point. It was in the oven at 400 degrees for about 40 to 50 minutes until the pork was cooked all the way through. And oh my God, it was so good. But I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I oh, thank, I wanna thank you for watching. I don't upload on a schedule, but I do upload regularly. So if you wanna to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get notifications when I do post, that'd be great. Until next time, I hope you take care. Bye. Yeah, all I need are some better days. Cause all I want and I pray, I believe in the better days.